I cannot excite her about this if we get it right. Good luck with that because she is here to put some va va voom into your home today. Joe Bahari is revealing how you can upcycle your flat pack furniture. Joe, thanks for joining us. Yeah, you're so welcome. You're looking very menacing with that, Emma. Well, I it know. It's falling out, so oh, I will teach you how to use it. So, we're going to be talking about flat pack shortly, but actually, last time I was here, we talked about resealing your baths and we didn't quite have the time to do it justice. So, I yeah. just wanted to make sure that everybody's got the tips Good because idea. this is a really crucial life skill. So, what we've got here is we've got silicon. Yeah. Sealant, which goes around your bath, around mm -hmm. your kitchen sink, or around your basin, and it gets a bit black and mouldy. You were saying yours at home is a bit, yeah, it's a bit a black. Little, it's time to, to move it. So the way to remove it is you get a knife and you use your sharp knife to cut between the two sides of the yeah. silicon, and then you pull and you pull and you pull and you pull. Yeah. And it's quite therapeutic, but it does take a bit of effort. Right. But once you've got it all out, you clean it of any mould and yeah. make sure it's nice and dry, and then you get to the fun part, which is resealing. OK. So if you're doing this on a bathtub, you need to fill the bath with water so that the bath is at its heaviest point. Oh. And I always say to people, because then the gap... that's the biggest gap, then, that's isn't the it? biggest gap, it exactly. Makes sense. And I always say to people, make it warm and put some bath salts in, then you can put your feet in so you don't have to lean yeah. over, and then you get a little foot spa at the same time. Good idea. So you need to practise with your cartridge gun before yeah. before you take it to the bathtub. So squeeze the trigger and the trigger will push a little um, oh, pump inside. Now. Yep. Quick, keep squeezing yours, Dermot. Keep squeezing. <gasps> there you go. <laughs> little bit too much. <laughs> you want to take tissue. some excess off with your okay. tissue. Yeah. yep. Oh, you need a hand there. What you like. This is why you need to practise, because actually it takes a, a soft touch. Aware of man's yeah. strength. Soft, firm and consistent <laughs> squeeze. Yes. And what you want to do is you want to drag very gently between the line of your tile on your bath or your uh, basin and the bathtub itself. Just go slow. It doesn't matter if you get clumpy bits because I'm going to show you how to solve those at the minute. But the key is to not press too hard on the trigger. Otherwise, you get far too much coming out mm. at once. How are you mm -hmm. both getting on there? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm done, babes. I'm yeah, done. Yeah, nice. Mm -mm. Okay. I've done this once oh. or twice before. I, I can't see where I'm going. Mm -mm. I've done this once or twice before. I can tell you're a pro. I've gone up my wall there. So then what you need to do, yeah. this is the way to make it look good, mm -hmm. is you take this, which is not green cream, it is washing up liquid, yeah. and you just dab it on yeah. and smooth oh, away the excess. Right. Okay. And then you can use your gun or like a little... Um, smooth... Or just a piece of kitchen roll. Smooth away the excess. Just to smooth, yeah, there you That's go. so good. <laughs> The key thing there is the actual smoothing away. And then once it's dry, you use the back end of a knife. It won't come up properly this time because it's not dry. But once it's dry, you use the back end of a knife to take any excess off from around the bathtub itself. Oh, I've got, Great. I've got washing Yours is up liquid good. everywhere. <laughs> Yours is oh, looking no, good. Alice. Is that right? Oh, Alice is quite pro. Very good. So that's the key there. Good. And then you leave the water in the bath until the silicon is dry, because otherwise that gap's going to get bigger. Mm -hmm. yeah. Make sure you leave the water in the bath until the silicon is dry. Sometimes it's 24 hours, but it depends on the, what manufacturers... I'm going to do got. that myself so, now. Yeah, perfect. That's so good. Lovely, great job. So let's move on to flat pack furniture. <laughs> Just going to move my bathroom over yeah. onto the floor here, as you do. Now, as we know, social media's got a lot to answer for these days, but certainly one of the things yes. that uh, people seem to do on social media is to make amazing pieces of furniture out of weird things. Yeah. This TikTok trend is huge at the moment. It's making a bedside table out oh, of a bread it. bin. So this is your normal... A normal bread yeah. bin. Just yeah. a normal bread, bread bin. And this is a huge trend on social media at the moment. So I just wanted to show you how to do that. You need two bread bins, yeah. and then what you're going to do is you're going to stick them together with some wood glue. So, put your wood glue around your bread bins like this. Yeah. Right. Da, 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 da. I've not seen this trend yet. Oh, no. not. oh, it's gone everywhere. Is it? It has gone absolutely it's everywhere. In the bread bin and then world. you put your bread bins Just... on top of each other. Now, Happen. you can clamp these together if you happen to have clamps, because you need to wait for the glue to dry. So you can clamp them together using a kind of old-fashioned G-clamp uh -huh. or even a fast clamp like that. Or you can put something inside, heavy inside. on top of it. Yep, inside yeah. so, here. So what is it? It's two drawers. It's two bread bins, like that, and I'll show you in a second. So you need to let it dry. You can either string it together or put something heavy on some, for some like, books or something like that. Um, it'll take probably 24 hours to dry. Yeah. Once you've done that, you can get some fancy-looking legs... Yeah. And then if you screw them on, which I'll just do for you here, 
it will turn yes, into an amazing bedside table. You're so clever. Oh, it's not me. This was TikTok. So I can't take the credit for this one, I have to say. <laughs> it's just so, it's so, but it's actually, the thing idea. with some of these TikTok trends is they look amazing and you get a, a brilliant, unique piece of yeah. furniture, but they're not necessarily that cheap or cost effective to do. Yeah. So this takes two bread bins, which cost 20 quid or so. Then you've got paint, then you've got the legs to buy. So it yep. can be quite pricey. So actually, if you add this all up, I think these bread bins are 20 quid each. Brilliant. So that's 40 quid. Jo, I don't know if it's your thing, but afterwards, can you fix the screen? <laughs> <laughs> Tech is definitely not... I feel like we're in, like, one of those Saw movies, I have like... to say, the reason it's broken is probably because of me, because as soon as I walk in anywhere, technology you put a shower breaks. On. Oh, really? So, so <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> I, can, I can handle a drill, but not technology. So you seem to be kind of, like... Just putting those like screws where you want is that is that kind of the thing or have well, you to have be you fair, because we're only on a short title. <laughs> I can't I work out what it is. Holes, I will show you momentarily, Alison. And that is just... so good. Da, 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 da. I love the fact that. that you're actually doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm some kind of expert or something. You ready? Mm -hmm. Ready for the big reveal? Ta-da! Oh my god, oh, I love it. I get it Can now. You see? It's actually so you've really got nice. A little bedside table. Oh, that's so clever. There you go. Nice. Perfect. Well but done. It can be quite costly. So what we what you can do is you can do some vinyl stickers or some painting on jazz it up. Flat pack just to jazz it up. Yeah. So you can change the handles really easily. Alison, if you want to come over here, you can see this is normal chalk paint. You can add chalk paint to melamine furniture really easily. You okay. don't have to prime it or anything like that. So you can have a go at that. May I? Term. Yeah, absolutely. How exciting. And then to change the handles onto yeah. that pack, which makes it look really good and you can then create your own aesthetic. Yeah. You literally just unscrew the own old handles. And put a move screw oh, in new handles. So much fun. Very satisfying. Oh. Look at that. And then you can use vinyl wrap or vinyl stickers to actually That's really so individualise your furniture. So oh, I there's love much it. cheaper and cost effective ways to make it. And this is great in a rental as well. So you can really beautify your flat pack to make it look less flat pack and more huge. Joe, this is amazing. Joe, Such a good idea. 20 seconds to get this done. Oh, I, can, I, can, I believe in you. I reckon you can do it. Yeah. It's a How many coats would you there. do of this? Well, with chalk paint, you'd only really need one because it's quite thick I'm and it's quite like colour. One. So, um, Five, four, three, two, one. Come on, you've got two, this. Well done, Dermot. Thank so you, Joe Bahari, the loose women.